Hey, I'm Zach from Now You Know. Welcome to this episode on our boring tunnel future. In the previous episode in this series, we talked about the technologies that the boring company are developing to make, well, tunnels. Specifically tunnels that will transport people throughout a city. And that's fantastic. Fast, safe, cheap transportation throughout a city is going to be a game changer, a disruption. But why stop there? So today we're gonna to be talking about boring long distance tunnels. Today, if you want to move a shipping container of freight from one city to another, you have a couple options. Trucks driven on a highway or trains on rails. Let's look at an example and compare some numbers. Let's suppose I've got a container of goods weighing 50,000 pounds arriving at the Port of Los Angeles from China. It needs to be moved from the Port of Los Angeles to an Amazon fulfillment center near Chicago. What are my options? According to Google Maps, the distance is approximately 2,000 miles. Trains cost around three cents per ton mile, while trucks on freeways cost around 30 cents per ton mile. Obviously, anyone would choose to move the majority of that distance by train if possible. But using trains imposes a significant time delay because not only will our container need to be sorted onto and off of a number of trains before finally arriving close to our destination of Chicago, but also freight trains in the US travel very slowly averaging only about 25 miles per hour. And trucks still must be used for the initial miles to get from the port to the rail yard and at the end from the rail yard to the fulfillment center. This is going to cost us an additional $400 of trucking costs for our container to get delivered to Chicago. But even with all this sorting and switching, the cost is far lower to use trains for the majority of the trip. And this is why container shipments are a large percentage of BNSF and other railway companies income. The train is cheaper, but it's gonna take a while. To move the container from the port to a rail yard and then by train to near the destination and finally from the destination rail yard to the fulfillment center would take about 10 to 14 days in total. But what if there was a better way? What if we could take that semi-tractor trailer truck and instead of driving on the highway from Los Angeles to Chicago, what if it could drive in a tunnel? I'm not talking about the kind of tunnel that we have today. I'm talking about a tunnel with some new technologies. What if this long distance tunnel could cut the transportation cost per mile to the same cost as trains, increase the transit speed to 120 miles an hour, eliminate the cost of the driver, and what if this entire new system is powered by renewable solar and wind energy? As we've seen in the second episode, Boring Company tunnels will only accept electric autonomous vehicles. This means no driver needed for the truck which is a huge savings since the driver would cost about $860 each way for this particular trip. It also means that our insurance costs are lower as well since robo trucks will get into far fewer accidents than human driven trucks. And instead of $1,000 for the diesel fuel to power the truck, we can use cheaper, cleaner, renewable energy. But how do we get the truck to travel at 120 miles an hour without using a ton of energy? Isn't air resistance a huge factor? I mean, doesn't air resistance go up with the square of the speed? So a truck traveling 120 miles an hour, even if it has a great coefficient of drag, will spend a huge amount of energy pushing all that air aside, right? Well, this isn't your regular run-of-the-mill tunnel. This tunnel uses air blowers to blow air 90 miles an hour through the tunnel. This means that a truck going 120 miles an hour only encounters a 30 mile an hour headwind. Essentially, it's like being able to hypermile, which means an incredible increase in range for our battery-powered truck, an incredible energy savings. We're going to get a two-thirds energy savings because within these long-distance tunnels, solar and wind-powered blowers will drive air at 90 miles an hour, reducing the aerodynamic drag the truck would normally experience on an open freeway. The Tesla semi-truck, when fully loaded, currently has a stated range of 500 miles we calculate that it must have an 800 kilowatt hour battery to make that range. Within the tunnels traveling at 120 miles an hour, the range should be about a thousand miles because the blower generated wind eliminates most of the headwind the truck experiences. To make this 2000 mile journey with a full load of 25 tons, the electric truck in the tunnel with blowers will consume about 1.6 megawatt hours of energy at a cost of about $320, assuming 20 cents per kilowatt hour. 
the truck will pay a toll of around $2,000. That's $1 per mile for a total trucking cost of around $2,320. The train cost is about four cents per ton mile or about 2,000 miles times 25 tons times four cents per ton mile equaling $2,000 for the train plus $400 for first and last mile trucking. The costs are about the same, but the tunnel trucks will get the freight delivered overnight compared to the more complicated train method that would take 10 to 14 days. Once a tunnel is built and high-speed trucks are running, why would anyone use diesel-polluting trains? Keep in mind that these air blowers will be powered by solar and wind renewable energy systems combined with batteries to store energy for 24-7 operation. Hmm. I wonder where the boring company will get their solar panels and batteries from. Tesla Energy has been criticized as not contributing to the Tesla bottom line, but once the boring company begins building long distance tunnels across the US, Tesla Energy will be building billions of dollars worth of solar and wind farms. For each 100 mile tunnel, the cost will be around $1 billion, and of that, around $100 million will go to Tesla Energy to build solar power farms and mega packs of battery storage, pollution free tunnels that use clean renewable energy. So how much money and time did we save by using the boring long distance tunnel to move our shipping container? Well, let's see. Hiring an ice truck with a human driver on surface highways traveling at 65 miles an hour would take 33 hours of driving or three days since a driver is limited to driving 11 hours per day. Assuming 25 tons and 2,000 miles and around 30 cents per ton mile charges, the cost to move the truckload of freight across country would be around 2,000 miles times 25 tons times 30 cents per ton mile equaling $15,000. Shipping our container via train would take 10 to 14 days and cost $2,400. Using tunnels and autonomous control, there is no limit to how many hours the computer can drive the truck. So the total time of driving plus one charge for this 2,000 mile trip would be around 20 hours. The tolls plus electricity to fuel the truck would cost $2,320. So you can see that using tunnels, the freight will arrive faster than either train or surface trucking, and also at a lower cost than either of the currently existing methods. Once a tunnel is built, it will instantly be the best method for moving freight and will steal market share from all other methods. Why use trains if tunnel trucking is faster and costs the same? Another thing to remember is that for people in cars using the long distance tunnels, it will be like being in an airplane. You can read a book, watch a movie, play games, eat a meal, whatever you want, because the car will be driving itself. You could even take a nap on a long trip or sleep on an overnight red-eye journey between distant cities. And this calculation doesn't include how much safer and how much cleaner the trip just became. Something that's hard to put a price on today because we don't account for it. But human lives and human health, well, they could be argued to be priceless. So as you can see, boring tunnels are going to make a huge impact on how we move between cities and across states and countries. People that commute between major cities will certainly prefer to use the tunnels to cut their commute times in half, and trucking companies will enjoy overall reduced costs and increased speeds. Fresh fish from Miami, fresh produce from California to the East Coast, all time important products will benefit by a dramatic reduction in the shipping time. Thank you for joining us on this episode. Stay tuned for part four, where we will learn about the trillion dollar tunnel market and what that will mean for all of us in our boring tunnel future. Now you know. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.